Hello, hello, hello guys, and welcome back to Joe's Ventures, and today we're doing devlogs for Saurian. We all love Saurian. Uh, it's a slow process, but we're getting there. Um, we've got devlog 120, 121 for both February and March, and we've got a little bit more of a bigger update in March, but really, really awesome. So we're going to be starting off with uh, devlog 120. So hey everyone. This month we've continued to face an unforeseen stall on our art pipeline which has prevented us from releasing content uh, with the uh, implementation goal for the upcoming patch. <clears throat> it's obviously far from ideal, but it was left up with two options, keep waiting for art to before releasing the patch or work on the release patch soon and add the missing content later with a smaller update. Neither choice we're excited to, but we decided that we're going to release the patch with the missing content. The specific negative consequences of this is that the patch will have some unsightly visuals uh, resulting from clashes with old and new plant assets and our new weather and lighting system, which I've of course apologize for. And on the other hand, this means we're finally working out a clear deadline in mind, hoping to get this patch and for public testing out by the end of March, which they managed to do successfully. And um, the next few weeks until then, which is the same as last month, Zane, um, Ali and I fixing bugs and adding uh, little last little touches before you get your hands on it and we're excited to experience a new ambience that we'll be bringing to bone butte so yeah another short one just that you know what's going on but really really cool by primal creations we can see on the community spotlight there's a really really cute little t-rex model really really cool and we've got a documentary of saurian by the australopithecus afarensis man so very interesting and then we have this last one by the unique randy Got a really nice uh, screenshot of our little baby trike. Really, really cute. So, really like that. So, next up we've got for March the 31st, uh, Saurian Devlog 2000 and, um, not 2023, for 121. So, really, really cool. So, uh, hey everyone. Exciting news this month. Uh, a month after a lot of work, we're finally ready to release to public testing. It's been a long road, but we're so close to the finish line. Uh, with the... Uh, Change in weather system upgrade to our plant rendering system, the game should hopefully run smoother and look better. We'll still have work to do trying to catch those last elusive bugs, but we're moving forward and I'm very excited to get uh, this in the hands of those brave enough to go into the public testing branch. For those interested in joining the fray, here is the uh, instructions on how to opt into the testing branch. And here is a link to our Discord so you can report findings directly to our mods. Lastly, I want to give a shout out to our team of QA. They volunteered their time and sanity, playtesting, and finding all sorts of bugs and quirks for us to fix. Love y'all. Oh, thank you. Um, additionally, we also have an update for Jake uh, from Jake for some new upcoming plant assets. So that's also really cool. So for the past few months, we've been continuing work on the flora overhaul. We've consolidated all the ground, ground floor, uh, fauna, I can't even speak today, uh, large and small, into three different atlases for now. So one for herbs, which was shown in our previous update, one for the large spur, uh, ferns, and one for the remainder of the large ground plants. The six newcomers are by Sona, which haven't been in the game in a long time, uh, revamped um, Ziggurprices, I believe you say that, and which feature these pretty flowers, as you can see that there, and large uh, species of Escetum, which I believe is um, basically um, horsetails, and then Oshimasidae and um, Wardwardia, and the second largest species of Ganinchidae, which has not been featured in the game yet. So, some new plants and things like that, really, really cool. And the larger Ganinchidae and Bisona have received a treatment from Chris recently, so they look pretty nice. So, they were migrated over to the new Atlas to save some development time. So we can see these really cool new plants, uh, at just adding to the diversity of um, the Saurian ground. So really interesting to see these in the game, really uh, making it more accurate and a lot more species for you to find with some pretty flowers as well. I think you didn't say no to some pretty flowers. So really cool. So the rest was fairly old assets and we're having trouble color adjusting them to play well with the new lighting. So I remade them from the ground up. So these plant remodels may seem extensive, but uh, excessive but veg vegetation rendering will always be one of the most taxing performance drains on the game and each new iteration helps us balance the performance impact for these assets as well as their appearance so even if it does these plant remodels seem to be almost like too much sometimes it's important because these guys will be the most taxing on kind of the hardware um, especially on performance so remaking these helps help potentially helps make performance a little better for you guys so it's something that's worth doing 
So yeah, really cool little update, some nice little plants, who doesn't love plants? Uh, next up we've got the community spotlight, we've got by Primal Creations, we've got uh, the Packy here, really really cute, same with the T-Rex I did before, really well cute. Uh, next up we've got this really nice painting by Mustard, I really love the cloud, it's like an early morning or late afternoon, and you can see those really wonderful colours on these Dakota Raptors here, and a wonderful uh, ground as well. And we've got this by Dakota Raptor Steiny. Uh, we've got this really interesting um, kind of almost what's the cuboid of a pattern? You can see these really sharp lines. So this look pretty nice. It's came out pretty well. And we've got by uh, Roxy. We've got this really cute Saurian uh, little thing here. You can see the T Rex is super fluffy. This is the old T Rex, and you can see super fluffy. You can't even see his eyes. He's a very fluffy boy. Really nice little like uh, cutesy design of it. So really really awesome by Rosie really really cool so um yeah a bit of a short one for today but that's okay so um yeah um if you guys want to have a look at the uh, new uh public testing branch to have a look at the new weather system and things like that you can uh look in the obviously go from the devlog uh, you can see in here so easy instructions you can look in the instructions and you can go to the discord to uh report bugs on the testing branch things like that so yeah, pretty simple, pretty easy, and yeah, nice to see some updates coming from Saurian. So uh, yeah, I uh, really, really, really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Hope you guys like and subscribe. Always remember to hit the little bell icon to get notified of anything. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, hope you guys like and subscribe, and bye bye